happy. Hey, everybody. I'm doing our skills group on Facebook, too. So if anybody joins in, they're welcome, too. So welcome, welcome, everyone. Irma, I think you're sending me texts, son. You're sending them to the wrong person. All righty, because that, that kills my uh, Facebook feed. It kills my, it, it like makes, uh, what do you call them? Uh, Oops. Glitches, glitches, glitches. Wow. So I don't know if I'm going to get anybody on Facebook, but this is our skills group, and I do it every once in a while, and our yeah. wellness will be back on. So welcome, welcome. I just scarfed down my lunch. You're laughing at me because I'm running around like a lunatic looking for your father. What? Yeah. Where did he go? Did yeah, he run off? I want my phone for him. My, my car died. Yesterday. What? Your car died? Yeah, my car died. My car died, guys. I hope uh, it I has hope to do. It's, it, it's oh yeah, no, no. Uh, we try to switch cars, and uh, we didn't switch the cars um, enough. And uh, oh well. So now what? So we think maybe it's. I have a Prius, so it has like a special little battery. So I'm like, we think it's that. So it's okay. It's okay. So, welcome, welcome, welcome to Skills Group. We get, we got to find a better name for this. So today, hey Alex, hey Alona, hey T, hey Nicole, hey Irma, hey Tony, Terrence, and Victoria, and Kara, and Kara. Ooh, I got a full bunch. Good, 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 goody gumdrops. I'm so glad everybody enjoyed the class before. That looked really cool. Um, it would be cool to have them come uh, to the center uh, or do it again. They're cool people. I've met them once before. Oh, my goodness. So, welcome. How's everybody doing? Good. Yeah. yeah? You doing good? Terrence, you good? Yeah, I'm just going to get off right now. All righty. We'll see you later. We'll see you later. All righty. Uh, Alex, how are you doing today? Awesome. Irma, how are you holding up today? I'm um, okay. Good, good. I mean, sometimes if all we can wish for is okay, that's all we can wish for. And Nicole, give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Girl, oh, I see a happy smile, so that might be good. Give me eyebrows. I gave me eyebrows. I'll take eyebrows. T, how are you doing today? Good, good. good. Awesome. Alona, how are you doing? Good. Okay. Good, 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 good. All righty. So as we move on, we were working on hobbies and stuff. I'm going to shift away from that a little bit and we're going to work on something else. We're going to work on the concept of what I call sequencing and making a plan or order. Okay. So how we have things or how we do things in life is we make a plan. We make a plan or, and that means we know how things go. So I'm going to give you the first order and you guys are going to help me out. All right. So if I said to you, okay, I'm going to give you a phrase and you guys are going to finish it for me. Sorry. If I said, I'm just, I'm like the commissioner, Tony. Everybody, everybody needs to get a hold of me. Uh, <laughs> all righty. Tony. So, um, TJ, are you going to join me for Tai Chi later? Yeah. I got some cool stuff. I got something new planned for you. Okay, ready? So if I started this uh, sentence or whatever, one, two, three. three, TJ, excellent, four, five, five excellent, six, Somebody else want to finish it? Six, six se seven. seven. Let's go up to ten. Eight. Nine. Nine. Excellent, Nine. TJ. Ten. And if anybody's on Facebook, David J, if you're on, you want to join us for Zoom, you're more than welcome to. Or you can stay on Facebook. It's cool. Okay? So you guys did a simple order we call it order or sequence okay and those were numbers right we all know that we're smart right so if we are working in our lives in general and to do any job to do school to get ourselves 
I don't know, ready for anything, we have to put things in order. And that's, we have to make a plan. So that's what we're doing today. You all followed a plan, a sequence today to get here. And I send it to you every weekend and I post it every week and every day on Facebook. Does anybody know the name of that type of sequence that I'm talking about? Alex, I see you nodding your head. Do you know what it's called? No, it's this. What is she? What do we print out every week? Ooh, we like it. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. A schedule. A schedule is. Yeah, Tony's got it for us. Awesome. He's my assistant, and I'm gonna make him co-host. All right, in case I need any <laughs> issues. Sorry. The what? So we do this all the time. So this is what we're going to work on for the next couple of weeks. We're going to work on, we're going to put them into games. We're going to, these are steps. This is important. So every day you guys had a schedule. You knew to be here at 1.30. Some of you might have just hung around after the last class, which I appreciate. Um, but hey, Christian, what's up, man? So today we... Oh, everybody's like, Christian! All right. So today, today we're going to talk about, and um, this is what I emailed. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And we just got to interrupt because Christian got a tall almond honey flat white from Starbucks. Nice. Oh nice. Nice. That sounds good, man. So <laughs> today what I sent to you, if you have it, is two printouts. We're going to, we're going to, discover or we're going to learn about making a plan and how to make a plan through something all of you do every day. All of you do this every day and that's why I picked it. So we're going to start easy and then maybe we'll go to something hard because this is what we need to do when we go, right? We needed to do this when we go to school. We need it when we go to the center and we need it when we go to work. And we need it when we do any job around the house. We need to understand what happens first, what happens second, what happens third, all the steps. All right. So, uh, oh, here we go. So I gave you guys a group. Does everybody here have it? And if you don't, it's okay. Irma's going to help me walk through it as well. She's going to describe some of these as no worries, Irma. You're good. You don't need it. She's going to help me out. Um, all righty. If you have it, great. If you don't, you can follow along. And if you want, uh, would help if I had my tape. <laughs> I'm getting too old, man. Getting too old. What happened to me? I gave you a printout sheet. All righty. A printout sheet. And if anybody needs it, it doesn't matter. You can write these down in order on Facebook. A printout sheet from one, two, three, four. I think I had nine. I think I had nine. One through nine, right? TJ, you ready to count with me? One, two, three, four, five, then six, seven, eight, nine. We have nine, nine pictures and nine steps. But I also asked a question, your morning, this is, we're going to do a morning routine. Does anybody know what a morning routine yeah, is? Just, just Does time. anybody want to tell me what is a morning routine or how would you describe it to me? Or why we do it? What do you think? Irma, do you have a morning routine? Do you have a, 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 a number of things you do every morning? Get up, but take my medicine. Yeah, Irma's saying she does. She has something, okay? She does it. Something that she does when she wakes up. Excellent, Irma. Alex, do you have a... You don't have to tell me yet. Do you have a morning routine? Okay. All right, she said not to tell her. Yeah, so you do, right? TJ, do you have a morning routine? Yeah. Yeah. Nicole, give me the eyebrow. Do you have a morning routine? Give me a raised eyebrow girl if you got one. She's like, I don't know. I got people to do it for me. 
<laughs> yeah. Tony. Hey, Kara. Kara, do you have a morning routine? She would like to tell you that she does indeed, but it's usually lunchtime before we get there. Okay, that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> that's How about we call it when we first get up? Uh, at Alona, I know you must have a morning routine, right? We're going to go through what they could be. And Tony, do you have a morning routine? Oh, I have to. Yeah, man, I got to, got to. People that are good at what they do have routines or we have a schedule or we follow certain steps, right? Victoria, you got one? Right, so, yep, hold on, TJ. So out of all these pictures, I'm going to, thank you, my friend, thank you. I've got a bunch of these pictures and we're going to try to put them in an order and your order may be different than my order that's the point we have to make it fit our lives okay so i don't know maybe somebody can help me out of all these pictures and i have one that is a shower is to cook breakfast go to work or center could be school brush teeth wake up wash face eat breakfast, get dressed, and use the bathroom. Because you guys know every chance I get, if I can put a toilet in somewhere, I will, okay? But actually, that, I mean, come on, you know, we've got to. That's an important part of our morning, too. You know, we don't look at it that way. You got to wake up, you got to go, you got to go. And we all go different ways, but we all got to go. So, out of all these pictures, who wants to help me by picking the first one? What's the first thing that happens in the morning? Who wants to? Alex, I see you moving towards something. You want to tell us what's the first thing that happens in the morning? Wake up. Yeah, we take that for granted. But we got to wake up. We've got to wake up, right? So... Who, I mean, obvious, that's a good thing. We all want to wake up. I mean, you know, we all may wake up at different times and we make up, we all may wake up in different ways. Who here uses an alarm clock to wake up? Who here uses an alarm clock to wake up? Victoria does. Irma, do you use an alarm clock? No. No. I use one. Okay, that's okay. I'm just curious. So Victoria uses her phone. In my olden days, they were these big things oh that had bells and they go, ring, ring. Uh, and we don't do that anymore. I actually, kids, kids, I used to use an alarm clock. I now wake up on my own. Who here wakes up right on their own? Who here? No. no so Alex does. Some people do, some people don't. Good job, TJ. You may not need an alarm clock. Who here has someone else wake them up? Who here, somebody knocks on their door, says, wake up. Thank you, Katie. Thank you. Uh, Katie, Alex, Katie says, good job. She's very proud of you. Uh, maybe, maybe. I will count Alexa if you have Alexa that wakes you up in the morning, Kara. So we all have different. Ooh, Victoria, those are beautiful flowers. So some of us have an alarm. Some of us have a front. Who here has somebody knocking on their door? Irma, do you have somebody that knocks on your door to wake you up? Yes, there's this. Yeah, yeah, right? Uh, that's, that's, that's like an alarm clock, so it counts. So we all have different ways we wake up, all right? Who here wakes up really early let's say before what do you think let me see let me find out let's let's ask everybody what time they wake up tj what time do you wake up in the morning what time what time 9 30 9 30 that's a nice time that's a little late for me yeah. uh but i get it man i'd like to sleep till maybe no. 10 uh alona do you wake up Early or late? Right now, you have to wake up early because you're always on my class. Would that seem right that you wake up early? Yes, Alona wakes up early. If you're at the, and Katie has, Katie is somebody that helps her up. Good, good. 
Uh, Nicole, do you wake up late or early? What do you think? But do you wake up early or late? You wake up whenever mom goes and gives you your medicine. What? So she has somebody <laughs> there. Alex. But uh, okay, nice, nice. Alex, what time do you wake up in the morning? What time do you wake up? At six in the morning. What? Did you just say six o'clock in the morning? Yes. <laughs> But mommy doesn't. What? Alex, I'm impressed. Ooh, Katie wakes up between 6.45 and 7. They say people who wake up early are very, uh, very successful people. I, I wake up every hour on the hour now. That's kind of the way I work. So Kara uh, wakes up a little later. Um, Irma has Kara, somebody. Kara wakes up at the crack of noon. Crack of noon. That's that's my plan. That would be my plan if I could. If I could, Victoria, what time do you wake up? Usually. Eight forty-five. All right. So different people. Now, if we had to go to the center, we would probably, except for Alex, because she's up really early. She's prepared. We probably would wake up earlier. We probably would. So the way this is going to work, we all agree every day with the Lord's blessing, as they used to say, we wake up. We wake up. All right. So we're going to put that in the first one. If you're doing this, you're going to lay it on your table. I'm going to tape it so they don't fall off. We're going to put that first. That's a good reminder for us. And think of the time you wake up. Every day you should wake up about the same time. It's a good plan. Okay, so let's see our pictures. Who wants to pick? What's the next thing you do? Oh my gosh, my watch is talking to me. <laughs> and Tony has, I mean, uh, uh, TJ, you might listen to music when you first wake up. But let's see. What's the next thing that I'm going to pick one thing I do? And maybe you all can pick the next thing you do. First you wake up, and then you do something else. I'm going to share. Get your next thing. I'm going to share what's the next thing I do. The first thing I do after I wake up and getting out of bed. What's the... Who said that? Who said that? Was that Alex? Yeah! Let's see. Who here, the first thing you do is you go to the bathroom. <laughs> Right? We've been in bed all night, right? Uh, uh, that's the first thing she does. She gets dressed? Okay. That's so okay. I dress her. Okay. That's like my routine. So I dress her. Ah. Okay. So my Nic routine's Okay. So her routine, Nicole's routine is different. Katie agrees. Katie is like me, Alex, and a couple of other people. I'm a little older, so I need to make sure I go. TJ, is that the first thing you do when you wake up? Yup. So what okay. we're going to do, and that makes sense. When we put things in order, it means it makes sense. I wouldn't say we'd eat breakfast before we wake up, right? We have to wake up first. So I'm going to put on number two that I go to the bathroom, okay? Now you all know too much about me. So I wake up. I go to the bathroom. I go to the bathroom. Now, Nicole's is a little different, so that's okay. Now, what's the next thing we might do? Does somebody want to share what you might do? What you might do next, I picked one. I picked one. Now, this might be different because some of you might do this at night, okay? So, and, and it, I, I do this in the morning, but let's see. Everybody, what's the next thing you do? So, we're gone to number three. For most of us, except for Nicole, we woke up, we went to the bathroom, Okay, and what's the next thing you might do to get ready during in the morning? Let's see. Let's pick up your let's pick up your pieces. Let's see. Find your piece because everybody's going to be different. What's the next piece? I want to say what everybody does. Ah, okay. So uh, then she goes to the bathroom. Okay, Nicole switches. She gets dressed, then she goes to the bathroom. That might make sense. Nobody wants to walk around, you know, in their pajamas. 
Katie agrees with me. My next thing I do is I take a shower, okay? But who here takes a shower or a bath at night? Raise your hand if you clean your body at night. Who? Who? Victoria does it at night. Any, uh, Nicole does it at night. TJ, do you take a shower or a bath at night or in the morning? Morning. Morning. Well, that's why he smells so good. He always smells really, really good. Um, either way, you don't get dirty by going to bed. So, Alex, hold. You can put your... You, Alex has something that's different. She says she cooks breakfast. She makes breakfast. No, but no. for some of us, no. we, we take a shower. So those of us who take a shower in the morning, we're going to put it in number three box. If that's not your number three, you're going to put something else. So right now, let's see if this makes sense. I wake up. I go to the bathroom and then I take a shower. That's Deborah's morning. That might be Katie's morning. That's not Nicole's morning. Her morning is different. All righty. So Alex, keep your pieces. Now, what's the next thing you might do after you take a shower or you use the bathroom? What's the next thing you do? Who wants to take a guess? Because Alex might have a different morning than ours. Ah, what do you think of this, Alex? Uh, different people have different points of view on this. Some people do it after breakfast. I do it always before. I don't know how to... All righty, which one is this? Okay. So what we had was we have brushed teeth. Somebody said brushed teeth. Who thinks that makes sense to do when after we wake up? Raise your hand. Who thinks that makes sense to brush? Yeah, right? We've been sleeping all night. Yeah, TJ, good job. Sorry, I need a I need a little, I need to, my throat is parched. Good, good. So most people do this before they eat breakfast. Most people. Some people do it twice. Some people do it twice. Some people do it after. Brush their teeth. Do you brush your teeth before or after breakfast? Breakfast. Teeth. After, after, after. So some people might, you might yeah. leave yours, yours later. Who else does it before they eat breakfast? I do it. I do it before. I do it before. I don't like. You know, I'm old. I don't like the taste of my mouth in the morning. So I'm gonna put this um on number four. Number four. Okay. But if your sequence is different. It will look different, but it all has to make sense. Meaning, we don't we don't uh, eat breakfast before we cook it, right? That's the way we're working. So here's my schedule: I wake up, I use the bathroom, I take a shower, wash my body, and then I um, I brush my teeth. Is there anything else some of you might do? Um, around the time you brush your teeth, I actually do something before I brush my teeth. But I, I, I do it in the shower, actually. But um, what? Do you, some people the box. What's the next one? Somebody pick a card and tell me what you think might be something else you do, especially if you don't take a shower in the morning. What do you think you might do? What do you think you might do? Yeah, I didn't put that in because I'm a lady and I, I'm getting there. I might need to shave my face, but you know, um, it's, things are changing. Things are changing, but how about we put that in wash face or shave? Good one, TJ. Good, good. So some of us might shave this time or wash our face i'm gonna put that in tj i'm gonna put that after i brush my teeth okay i like that i like that i actually do it before i brush my teeth i do it in the shower but we'll put that as shave we'll put that as shave us ladies some of us ladies shave our legs i do that in the shower but um so here we go let's see how my I do it in the shower, but a lot of men need to see their face or they'll cut their faces. Yeah. 
So we'll put that in. So we have wake up, go to the bathroom, shower, brush teeth, and wash our face or shave. Some people do that. Now, here we are. What's the next thing? So we've washed our body. Maybe some of us have now washed our teeth. What's the next thing we might do before we 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 maybe leave our what before we uh before we leave the house what's something and i know we're not technically leaving the house anybody alex you want to pick a card what might be a good thing to do after we wash our face and our body all right okay nicole nice nicole hold on to that because you're the head of the game you did a different sequence nicole said to make breakfast to cook breakfast who here does something before they cook breakfast? What do you think, uh, Alex? We did that already. <laughs> Nicole did it already. So, Alex, what do you think we might need to do, but Nicole has already done it? She does it first. I do it later. Wash your hair. Oh, wash your hair. You know, I was going to make all of these. You're right. You're right. I don't have a picture for that because I did put it in the shower. But you're right. You might wash your hair. Absolutely. So if I did say if there's a step, I, I didn't really wash my hair today too well. And Tony, your hair looks spectacular. Um, you could write that in if that's your another, if that's another step. You could put that in. You could put that in that you wash your hair. All right. So we've, we've taken our shower. If we shower, we've washed our hair. We've brushed our teeth. We've shaved or washed our face. What's the next thing that Nicole has already done? Yes, Alex, we get dressed. We've got to get dressed guys. Um, a lot of us can't leave the house in pajamas or some of us sleep in our underwear or less. I mean, I don't know. Um, um, but we have, we can't, we can't go to work. <laughs> we can't go to work in our underwear or, or less or in our pajamas. We can't do that. We need to put on our clothes our street clothes as we like to say right so nicole did that right afterwards but for us i'm gonna put that after i'm all washed my body i go back into my room and now i'm going to get dressed good job and there's a whole process on that i'm gonna ask you a question we might run over a little bit but who here puts who here puts their socks on before they put their pants on I do that. I always put my socks on before my pants. No, other people who here puts their socks on after they put their pants. Interesting, interesting. It's hard to pull up the bottom. Yeah. You gotta pull up the, the bottom, then pull it down. Then your socks roll with it. It becomes a whole process. But what we're finding out is that different people do things differently and that's okay but everyone does things in an order it makes sense that we do things in an order so we do them right right if we got if we don't do our order we might forget something all righty okay so that's interesting i might i might have to do what parts of our clothes do we put on next all right so here's my morning tj so far i wake up i go to the bathroom I take a shower. Some of you may, you know, not. Uh, I wash, I brush my teeth. Some of you do it later. I wash my face. Some of you shave. Some of you wash your hair. And then I get dressed. Does that make sense? Yeah, I think it makes sense. It would be weird for me to, TJ, do I get dressed before I take a shower? No. Alex, do I get dressed before I take a shower? No. No. My clothes would get wet. No. 
No, of course not. Of course not. That's silly. I mean, it's not silly. I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's an easy way to wash your clothes. I don't know. All righty. We've got three things, or some of you may not. I have three things left. Okay, so now I'm dressed. I go downstairs. Some of you may be on a first floor. You may only have one floor in your house. Some of you may not leave your room for a while. That's okay. What's the next thing, Alex, I might do after I get dressed? What's the next thing? Some people do this before they get dressed. They might do this in their pajamas. But what's the next thing? We did our teeth. We got dressed. What would she do? What might we do? I'm going to give you a hint. Nicole, you can also look at Nicole. Nicole gave a hint. What do we do? It has to do with breakfast. What do we need to do before we eat it, though? What'd you say, Alex? Thank you. You said that a couple of times, and I kept talking over you. We got to cook it. Now, I'm going to, I'm really going to call you guys out. We've got to cook breakfast. We've got to make it. And it may be making cereal. It may be making a cup of coffee. That's really all that I really have. It may be toast. It may be a granola bar. It may be bacon and eggs. We all have different, maybe running to the store for some of us that, you know, or getting it delivered. Who here makes, oh, What? Oatmeal. Oatmeal. I forgot about oatmeal. Um, who here makes their own breakfast? Raise your hand if you make your breakfast. I do. Okay, so some of you have help. Some of you have help. Who here has someone else make their breakfast for them or help them? Uh, uh, yeah. See, that's nice. Alex is saying thank you. I have. She has helped. Nicole, I think you, you have the deli that sometimes makes your breakfast. The bagel, right? Girl, I, you know, I know. Alona, I know you have somebody that helps you with your breakfast. TJ, I bet your mom always, she, she probably makes your breakfast as well. Um, I'm the only one in my house that makes breakfast, really. Okay. Eggs. Yum, yum. So I'm going to put that for me. It's number seven. It's number seven. I'm working across. So let's see. Alex or Nicole, get your pictures right. Oh, Nicole's eating for a second. We make the breakfast. What happens after we make the breakfast? Do we go to work or do we do something else before? What do we do? What do we do after we make the breakfast? Oh, my God. What do we do after we eat She said, you, you, you got to eat it. You got to eat your breakfast, right? I know. You guys were nervous. You're like, Deborah, that's too simple of a question. We have to eat it. We make it, and then we eat it. See the order? That's how it goes. That's how it goes. It makes a lot of sense so far. All righty, now, some of you, your might, yours might be different. Now, Victoria said... When she's done eating her breakfast, she'll go back and she'll brush her teeth. Many people do do that. I know many people that do that. Some people, they might eat their breakfast in their pajamas, so they might go upstairs and get dressed. Um, this is a, uh, it's, this is Deborah's morning, so let's go through. Let's see if this makes sense. I wake up. I use the bathroom. I shall, oh, wait, where is it? I shall, oh, wait a minute. Where we go? I shower or clean my body. I brush my teeth. I have to wash my face, or some people shave. That's why we put that in there. We get, I get dressed. Then I go to my kitchen and I make breakfast. And then I eat my breakfast. Now, some of us might eat our breakfast in the car. I, I do understand that. Um, we might make it and then we take it. But let's let's try to get healthy habits. Let's try to eat at home. What's the last thing on our list? What's the last thing? Who wants to share it with us? The last thing. What's the last thing you do, have to do? What's the last thing you have to do? Now, right now, you might not actually be doing this. <laughs> What's the last thing you should be doing? What do you think, Alex? What do you think, What's T? What's the last thing? 
After you do all the things, what's the last thing? Yeah. I should have put a zoom. I should have put a zoom up. I should have put a zoom. Let's pretend. Let's pretend. Go to work. That's it. We go to work. We go to school. We go to center. We now for us, we might be going to the living room or our dining room right now. I'm in my basement, but usually the last thing we do is we go to work, right? Or we go to school or we go to center or we go to the store. We get going on our day, okay? Now we missed a lot of things. There's a lot of things we might do. We might get, what do you think? What, Alex, what do you take with you when you go to the center or when you leave in the morning? What do you take with you? Yeah, you take your backpack. I didn't put that in there um, because then we would have had a really big list. But that may be something Alex will put before, after she eats breakfast or whatever her list was, she puts her backpack. Uh, who else? Who else? Uh, Tony, what do you what do you grab and take from your house before you go in the morning? Right. You're on mute. My computer. I always take my computer with me. Yeah, TJ, hold on. That was a really good guess. Alex takes her backpack. TJ, I mean, um, Tony takes his computer. Absolutely, man. I take my computer. I take a lot of stuff, Alex. I, I have backpacks and my bags. Bag, my, bag of, my bag of tricks. We take a lot of stuff. And TJ says he brings his lunch. He takes his lunch. So maybe... What we needed to add to our list was make our lunch. Yeah, that would be something to make our lunch, then grab our backpack. Absolutely. So those are all the things we do. Nicole, what's one thing you bring with you before you leave the house when you go to center? What do you bring to... I bet you have one in your hand right now. I never leave home without it. Coffee. <laughs> oh, I didn't even think of coffee. Our phone or our iPad if we need to communicate oh, and talk. I didn't even think you sitting here with it. Yeah, we take our phones with us. Raise yeah, your hand if you take your... so much a part of our lives, we don't even think about it. Um, And I, I'm keeping you guys over and I feel bad, but I, I was watching a, a movie. I was watching Running Man with Arnold Schwarzenegger. And do you know that was set supposedly in 2000? Uh, 2017, that's when it was set. So we've already passed it. And but is that the one with the masks? Somebody was telling me about that. Well, it's it's the one the where room. they, they uh, criminals get put through a reality game show. And they it, it's, it's very violent. But they show people outside. It's supposed to be the future, which is really our past. And guess what none of them had in their hands? Because the movie was made in 1987. None of them had a cell phone in their hands. And I said, that is not the future. All right. So what we're going to do is one last thing. Thank you guys for staying on so long. I apologize. So sequencing, meaning putting things in steps or order should make sense. Ready? Deborah, this is my morning. Yours may look differently. I wake up. I go to the bathroom. This is our morning. I take a shower, I brush my teeth, I do my face, I get dressed, I cook breakfast, I eat my breakfast, and then I go to work or I, I go wherever. So next class, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing it. We're going to look at putting things in order and steps. But it's as if we are working in a restaurant, okay? A fast food restaurant. So I'm going to send you the pieces. I would ask that you cut them out, and we're going to try to put things in order, okay? So that's what our plan is for the week. So I want to thank everybody. We've got Wellness and Tai Chi at 2.30. Tomorrow night is bingo. So if you want to join us for bingo, yep, Tony, yep. Uh, I need your horn and some sound effects, okay? I'll talk to you about it later. If you need a bingo card, 
Um, please, I've already sent it to a few of you here or a couple of you here. Let me know. I can send you one already pre-made or you can print out the the instructions and make your own or you can do both i don't care you can make as many as you want okay so i'm gonna say goodbye to facebook peoples